Rescue Data and Repair. My name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to a new video. And today I will show you data recovery with chip off technique on a Samsung Galaxy S6. So stay tuned, it's getting interesting. So on the Galaxy S6, we have the last series of uh, Samsung Android smartphones, um, which are able um, to do a data recovery by chip off. We have a BGA95 chip and we can desolder it and we can read that um, by the Easy JTAG box and then um, we can get a complete dump um, of data which are located on the UFS chip of this device. In this case here we have a cracked board so we have two options. One time we could swap the board so we take the parts which we need for uh, data. This is the CPU and this is the double-sided UFS um, and we can take it to another board with the RAM. So um, the RAM we can replace but um, it's even just um, just work. So we need to swap the parts which we need for data recovery and um, in this case we can spend a lot of time um, if we just don't, uh, if we just, not just don't, if we just um, take off the UFS, the top, uh, the top piece of the UFS. We need to reball that or to clean the pads, and after that we can get it into the BGA95 reader of the Easy JTAG and get uh, a complete user dump by using the EM EMMC manager. So it will be interesting. I will directly go with you under the microscope, taking off the chip, cleaning the chip, and get it into the right reader. Let's go and have a lot of fun. So now we just desolder the top of the UFS chip. It's two-parted, one, one part on the bottom, one part on the top, and we take the UFS chip from the top. After that, we get it into the board holder and we clean it. We just use some flux for doing that, some desolder wick, a little bit of solder and our solder iron. And then we just go over through, take away the glue and clean the pads in one step. That's good to do. Don't overheat the chip, don't scrape, don't scratch, don't damage the surface. That's always pretty important. After cleaning, just use some hot air and a plate to get away the rest of the glue. And after that, what's pretty important, so we can read the um, UFS chip after, we need to get down some flux and we need to get soldered down to the pads so that they are shiny and not gray anymore at all. That's pretty important because otherwise we don't get a good connection to the socket and we can't read it. So after we did that, we just clean it again, take it out of the holder and we get our BGA95 reader, Easy JTAG, BGA95 reader, UFS chip reader. Plug in the chip and connect to the box. And we work with the EMMC file manager in version 1.2.0, uh, I think. And um, after we have connected, we see that the partitions are available. We have user data partition. So now we can just go to the file browser, just wait a short time until it has loaded and then we can go through the directories and export the whole user data partition, save it on our HDD, SSD, whatever way you want to save it. So we got access to all the important data and a happy customer will get his data out of his broken board. So that's pretty nice. So people, what do you think? Was this an interesting thing to see? Just uh, to see how that chip off works on an UFS chip, um, BGA95 on a Samsung Galaxy S6. Did you already know about this? Um, it's known a long time before because it's an old board, but I didn't get a video like that on the channel. So we had nothing about Galaxy S6 chip off. And it was a case which was coming in and I thought, okay, we can do a video for that because I want to give you new stuff on the channel. Um, we will do a lot of other things within the next time, like as 
uh, SSD, HDD and uh, flash chips, monolith uh, devices, whatever. Um, stay tuned, give us thumbs up, give us a comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. So tell me what do you think about the video. I'm out and we see us with the next one. Use Dr. Ben.